Hi, my friends. Welcome back to my live stream. My name is Francis, and this is Cook with Chef Francis, live on YouTube, making a reel on YouTube. So today, my friends, I will be making a lovely, you know, pasta, you know, from start to finish. I will be using the pasta machine, that's right here. So today, I'll be showing you how to make, you know, a fresh pasta dough from start to finish. And of course, I'll be using the, uh, the pasta machine. So let's get started, my friends. So I need to grab my ingredient now. So I'll be right back just a second, please. Thank you. So my friends, I'll be using an um, uh, egg, just two eggs, and of course I'll be using the double zero flour, it's an Italian flour, and of course I'll be using semolina, I'll be using semolina. So what we need to do, we need to weigh our ingredient now. So what I'm going to do, I have my scale here, so I'll quickly weigh that out. Nice and quickly. So I need 150 grams of flour. So I'll weigh that quickly. So I have 150 grams of flour. And next, I'm gonna weigh 50 grams of semolina. So that's 50 grams of semolina, my friends. So I'm going to set that aside, then I need egg, I have two eggs, so I'm going to grab my egg, uh, my bowl in the fridge, so my friends, I already have one egg right here. So what I need to do is just to uh, crack one egg straight into this lovely bowl. So I have two eggs right here. So now my friends, I'm gonna beat the eggs. I'm gonna beat that quickly. It's nice and easy, simple recipe my friends. So I'm done beating my eggs. Next, my friends, I have my flour and semolina right here. So I'm gonna pop my egg gently, straight into this lovely bowl. And I'll quick, you know, mixing. It's nice and easy, my friends. So my friends, if this is your first time watching my channel 
And of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button. Of course, turn on the bell so that you don't miss the latest from Coco Chef Francis. So I'm going to pop in more eggs. So I'm using two small eggs. You can see what I'm doing, my friends. So now, my friends, I have my lovely dough, nice and elastic. I'm going to pop that one there and I'm going to knead with semolina. now. So just a second, I'll be right back. Thank you. So my friends, I have a lovely soft um, elastic dough, so I'm gonna knead the dough now, quickly. The dough needs to be elastic, nice and strong. So I'm gonna knead it with semolina, quickly. So I'm going to knead it quickly with semolina. So now my friends, I have a very, you know, elastic pasta dough right here on my worktop. You can see it's nice and elastic. Look at that. Amazing, my friends. So, my friends, uh, I have a lovely elastic pasta dough right here so what i'm gonna do now if your pasta dough is um soft it's gonna be ruined so you need a very you know elastic pasta dough so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna you know flatten it a little bit look at that amazing elastic So now my friends, I'm going to pop this in the fridge for at least one hour. But my friends, because I'm making a live stream, we cannot wait for an hour. So what I'm going to do, I already made a pasta dough right there in the fridge. So I'm going to show you how to use the pasta machine, you know, to make, you know, spaghetti or whatever, I tell you or whatever. So now, So I'm gonna
After that, a little bit, nice and elastic. You can see my dough, lovely. Look at that. It's not soft. So, very nice. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wrap with clean film. Nice and easy. I'm gonna wrap that and pop that in the fridge for at least one hour. You can leave it overnight, it's up to you, my friends. Look at that, amazing. So I'm gonna grab the other one I made in the fridge and we'll start working with our pasta machine right away. Thank you. So my friends, this is the one I made earlier. So I'm gonna pop that you know, aside. So I'll put that away, I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna wash my hands now. So my friends, if this is your first time watching my live stream or my lobby channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button, of course, turn on the notification bell so that I don't miss the latest from Kuku Chef Francis. So my name is Francis and this is Kuku Chef Francis live on YouTube, making it real on YouTube, making quality videos. So uh, my friends, I'm going to get started now to use our lovely pasta machine to make a lovely, you know, pasta. So we're making a fresh pasta. So I'm gonna show you how to cook it as well. So let's get started my friends. So that's the semolina, we don't need that. We, we, we still need that semolina, but we don't need that flour. You need a double zero flour, that's what I'm using. When you're making a pasta, if you use the plain normal plain flour, you don't get a good result. So my friends, I'm gonna pop a little bit of Semolina on my wax top. So that's the semolina on my wax surface. So now, just a little bit, my friends. That's all right. So I don't need that clean film anymore. I'll put that away. So, my friends, uh, this is semolina. I have semolina with me, and of course, uh, I have um, my lovely pasta dough that was in the fridge for about two hours. So, I said, when you're making a pasta, when you're making a pasta dough. My friends, when you're making a pasta dough, what you need to do when you make your pasta dough, you use a um, double zero flour. You weigh it, that's 150 grams. And of course, your semolina, 50 grams. You weigh that out and mix them together. Flour, you know, same flour, mix them together. You don't need salt, you don't need oil. Simple and easy recipe, flour, double zero flour and semolina. Mix them together, then crack two eggs. You can use organic eggs, they are better for pasta. But if you don't have the organic egg, you can use your normal eggs. The free range egg is alright. Two small eggs, because if you add too much eggs, it's going to be too soft. 
and it's going to be ruined. So when you're making a pasta, you need an elastic dough. When you make it, it's going to be elastic. But when you pop it in the fridge, it becomes more elastic and easier to use on the pasta machine. So my friends, if you don't have a pasta machine, you can check out my video on how I made a pasta dough and I also made cannelloni, lasagna sheet. I made it with a rolling pin. So you can check that video out. It's there on my channel. You're gonna find how I made it. I used a rolling pin that was nice and easy, you know. But if you want it more easier, you use the pasta machine. It's nice and quick, simple and easy to make. So I said, I made a pasta dough earlier on, just a couple of minutes ago, about five minutes ago, I made a pasta dough. And because we're making it, you know, I want to make spaghetti, tagliatelle, or whatever. I don't want to, you know, use the pasta straight away because it's a live stream. It's not an uploaded video, it's a live stream. So if it's a live stream, then I need to show my viewers how to make it from start to finish. And of course, I already made a pasta dough and I popped that in the fridge because I don't want to waste my viewers' time for about, you know, an hour waiting for your pasta dough to be ready in the fridge. So what I did, I already made one, but I showed my viewers how to make the pasta dough. So I made the pasta dough, it's right in the fridge, but I have this made already, ready in two hours. It's there in the fridge for two hours. So my friends have said, at least one hour, you can make your pasta dough. Pop it in the fridge, let it, you know, stay in the fridge for about, you know, an hour or at least an hour. So now I'm going to get started. So I'm going to show you how to use, you know, the pasta machine. So uh, my friends, you know, uh, because uh, the camera is a little bit far from the uh, pasta machine. So what I'm going to do when I'm ready to use the pasta machine, I'm going to move the cameras, you know, so you can see what's going on in the pasta machine. So now I have my chill dough, very elastic. So I'm going to divide that into two. So that's what I'm going to do. You can see that very nice. So next I'm going to very elastic, my friends. So I'm going to make a square, you know, like a rectangle, you know. just make it a little bigger. You want it nice and uh, nice and smooth. So uh, I'm going to give it a lovely, uh, a lovely shape. So my friends, that's the first one. So uh, the tip of the pasta dough, we need to flatten that. You know, we need to flatten the tip of the pasta dough because I'm gonna I'm gonna pop that straight into the machine. So that's all right. You can see that, my friends. So I'll set that aside. Then I'm gonna do the same to the other one. Nice and easy, my friends. This is a short live stream. You don't wanna waste time. Nice and easy. You can see that, my friends. It's nice and easy, my friends. Lovely pasta dough. Look at that. Amazing, my friends. So you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to flatten that. I want to get a good shape. You know, when I pop that in the machine. So now I've gotten a lovely shape amazing pasta dough 
So before we finish my friends, I'm going to show you the one I made just now in the fridge. It's going to be set by then, or almost set. It's been there in the fridge for about, you know, 20 minutes. So now my friends, I'm going to quickly show you how to use this lovely pasta machine. So now I'm going to get started. So I'm going to pop that, you know, into semolina. So there we go, my friends. So now, my friends, I'm going to move my camera now. So I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to pull that one down. Yeah, I think now it's easier to see the machine. So my friends, that's all right now. So what I'm going to do now, I have my undo. It's very easy to use. So I said, my friends, I'm going to pop that, you know, into the roller. So, but before that, I need to set this. This pasta machine have, you know, seven settings. So you have from number one, two, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The electrical ones could have eight, you know, eight numbers, but this is the manual one. It has seven numbers. So when you're making a pasta, it's better to start with number seven. You don't start with one because seven is wider, eight is wider. So I have seven years. I'm gonna, you know, do it that way. And now it's at number seven. So I'm gonna pop that straight into the roller. My friends, do not put it at the edges. Not good. When you put it at the edges, it's going to shrink. So you start, you know, at the middle. So I have my, you know, handle here. So I'm going to pop that in. I secure that. You know, with manual one. So now I'm going to get started, my friends. So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna start rolling gently. You know, look at what's going on, my friends. You can see that, my friends. Nice and easy. So while it's rolling, I'm gonna pick it up there. You know. Look at that, my friend. I don't want to be quick because I'm making a live stream. But if I was not making a live stream, I'd be nice and quick, you know, doing that. So now, but later I'll be nice and quick. But now I'm just showing you, my friends, how we do that. So now my friends, I have, you know, a longer one now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop in more semolina. I'm going to rub that in semolina, my friends. Because when you use semolina, it makes it more nice and elastic. You know, my friends. So now I'm going to put this at number six. That's number six, my friends. So I'm going to pop that again, you know, and keep rolling. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my friends. My friends, if our pasta dough wasn't elastic, you know what's going to happen, my friend? It's going to break. And we don't want that, my friends. So now, my friends, that's on number on number five. So I can just go to number four if I like. So number four now. It's up to you how you know how nice and thin you want it. So now, I'll quickly do that again, nice and quickly. Look at that, my friends. Amazing, my friends. Amazing, my friends. 
So now my phone, I'll pop that into that was falling down. So I'll pop that into semolina again. Amazing, my friends. Look at that. Amazing, my friend. So now into semolina again. Then I'm gonna adjust that again, the settings to number to number two, my friends. I'm gonna pop that again, my friends. And I'm gonna pop that. Look at that, my friends. Amazing. Amazing, my friends. Look at that. Look at that, my friends. Amazing, my friends. Look at that. So, my friends, you can see what's going on now. Nice and quickly. So, my friends, I'm going to set it at number one. You know, that's the last one. Or number one. So, it's nice and long. Look at that. Amazing, my friends. Now, I'm going to put it on the last setting. Number one. Then, I'm going to roll it again, my friends. Nice and easy, my friends. Nice and easy. So now, my friends, this is nice and long. So I'm going to use this to make a uh, highlight color. So uh that one is for spaghetti you know and this one is for pilot LA. when i'm done i'm gonna show you guys you know i'm gonna flip my pasta machine to show you which one is for spaghetti and for pilot LA. so now i want to make pilot LA. so my friends remember it's not about having a pasta machine but if we don't know how to make the door, we're going to mess it up. So we need to know how to make the door first. You know, when you know how to make the door, my friends, then of course, everything's going to be nice and easy. So now, my friends, I'm going to pop in my pilot here. So I'm going to show you. you see what's going on now, my friends. You see, now it's making a lovely you know character so now this is the italian method of making pasta so look at that amazing my friends look at that amazing so i'm going to show you nice and easy look at that my friends amazing fresh pasta i'm gonna cook that when i'm ready look at that amazing my friends lovely you know when you buy your tyler tele you know they roll it somehow like this you know and it dries out when it dries it becomes you know coily or something you know this is how you see it when you buy in the store so they keep it that way and allow to dry, you know. But this is a fresh one. I'm gonna cook it straight into my lovely saucepan. So I'm gonna set that aside. Look at that, amazing, my friends. So now, my friends, I'm gonna make spaghetti. So I have semolina. Semolina is very good when you're making a pasta. And of course, don't forget, my friends, you need a double zero flour. You, you watch out for the word double zero when you're making a pasta. So now, my friends, I'm going to make that again the second time and I'll make spaghetti. So I'm going to pop that straight, straight into this room. Sorry for the breaking transmission. It was due to internet problem. 
So we we'll write back now. So I've reconnected it. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I'll be right back. So my friends, I'm back now, so I'm gonna, you know, keep doing that. So I wanna make spaghetti. Now my friends, I'm gonna pop that into semolina again. Nice and easy, my friends. Look at that amazing, lovely pineapple. So now I'll put that on number number five. You can do number six. It's up to you, my friends. But I want to put it on number five. So now nice and easy, my friends. So I'll put it on number four now. Nice and easy. Into semolina. Remember my friends, you start with the biggest number and you go all the way down. This has number seven, so I start with seven. And I go to six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing my friends, look at that amazing Now I'm gonna pop that into semolina again Nice and easy my friends amazing so I'm gonna pop that on number three There you go my friends number three Nice and easy my friends Nice and easy Nice and easy, my friends. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing, my friend. Now, my friends, I'm going to pop that on number one. And I'll make my lovely spaghetti, my friends. On number one, now, my friends. Nice and easy, my friends. Look at that. Amazing. On hazy live stream, my friends. My live streams are always nice and clear. So you can see everything, my friends. So now, my friends, I have, you know, a lovely uh, pasta. Now I'm gonna pour that into the spaghetti. So nice and easy, my friends. I'm gonna pour that into spaghetti now. So what I'm gonna do, that's the handle. Now, straight into the spaghetti. 
So I'm going to take that off for you guys to see what I'm doing. Look at that, my friends. Amazing, my friends. Lovely spaghetti. Nice and easy, my friends. Nice and easy. Amazing. That's it, my friends. Look at that. Now, I have a lovely spaghetti. So now, my friends, I'm going to cook that spaghetti. So I'm going to show you how to cook a fresh pasta. So I'm going to do, I'm going to pop in my boiling water quickly. I already have my tomato sauce and I have my lovely salmon. So I'm gonna put that to boil to boil, to boil away quickly. Now my friends, I'm gonna disassemble this quickly. So I want to show you guys, my friends, oh, what side I was using for my lovely So this is the hook So now my friends, I'm gonna adjust my camera again, quickly Yeah, that's all right now, my friends. So, my friends, I said, if you want to use a pasta machine, if you just get something like this, a manual one, you use this to secure it nice and tight on the table. It's nice and easy to just keep rolling, and it's going to be nice and tight. Then my friends, this could be removed or it could be, you know, but I'm going to show you, uh, this is the one I use for the Talatele, look at that, very nice, and this one I use for the spaghetti, and this one is used to flatten the lovely dough nice and thinly. So it's easy to use. So I'll set it aside. So, um, and that's the roller. So um, initially I, I made Talatele. So my friends, this is from 150 grams of flour. I use double zero flour. So I'm gonna show you my friends, the double zero flour, what I need. My friends, when you're making a pasta, you need to watch out for the um, for the word double zero. You can see double zero flour is good for pasta. But if you use the plain flour, it might work, but it might not work very well. But the double zero gives you, you know, a perfect, you know, pasta that you need, pasta dough that you need. And of course, my friends, we need a uh, semolina. So I added a uh, added semolina flour. Semolina. So it's just a simple recipe. One hundred fifty grams of flour and. 50 grams of semolina. Double zero flour, 150 grams, semolina, 50 grams. Straight into a bowl. You mix that with your hands or whatever you like. It's nice and easy. Just mix it up. And after mixing, you make it well. And of course, crack two eggs. My friends, if you're using two large eggs, you could make it one and a half because, you know, it could make the dough very soft. 
and it could be ringed. So two small eggs are the best. If you are using medium size, you can also you know be careful when you put it in. So you just put the egg bit by bit and keep checking. Once it's elastic, you can stop. Because the more eggs you put to your pasta, the more it becomes soft. And of course, if it's soft, it's not gonna go work, it's not gonna work in the, the pasta machine. So right here I made a paletele. So I would like to cook it. And of course, spaghetti. So I'll cook that out. You know, after cooking, then I'm gonna, you know, serve it with tomato sauce and my lovely, you know, uh, fish. So now my friends, uh, I'm gonna check my water. How long is it taking? So, uh, yeah, I didn't turn that on, I just turned it on now. Sorry, my friends. I'm going to turn the hob on. Uh, now, I'm going to check the dough in the fridge. So my friends, uh, this is the dough I made earlier. You can see it's elastic, but it's not yet ready because I made this uh, 30, 37 minutes ago. So we have just 30 minutes more for this dough to set in the fridge. My friends, please do not use the freezer, no. Pasta is good in the fridge. It's set bit by bit when you put that in the fridge. So just pop in the fridge, allow it to set, it's almost done. So that's why, my friends, I already made a pasta dough, which I used earlier on. I made that so that my friends gonna be nice and easy for me to show you guys how I made it. Look at that, amazing, lovely spaghetti, look at that. And that's the Thailand TV. it looks absolutely nice. I really love fresh pasta because when you cook this, it tastes really good more than the dry one. So it's really nice when you make fresh pasta. You can serve that with your pesto or your tomato sauce. But today I'll be using tomato sauce. I don't have pesto right now. So I'll be using tomato sauce. And of course, I'll be using my lovely salmon fish to make, you know, to, to, to make it very nice and presentable. So now this is elastic, but, you know, can be used now. So I'll pop it back in the fridge. You can leave it for 24 hours, that's nice. So put it back in the fridge. And this was one that was set before. So straight in the fridge. So my friends, uh now I'm going to start cooking my pasta, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean my work surface now, that's the semolina. now, I'll pop that, yeah. so now, I'm going to quickly wipe my work surface. When you leave your pasta out for long, it starts to dry out. And that's why you see when you buy pasta, most times they are dry. They could dry it for so many months or whatever before they put it in the pack. It's a way of preserving pasta, dry method. So that is semolina. Semolina really makes the pasta nice and elastic. But my friends, if we don't use the semolina, I'll just use only flour. The pasta is not going to be elastic. So semolina is very good when you use your when you're making a lovely pasta. So uh, 
Now, my friends, I'm gonna get started. I forgot to turn the hub on. It was deep now. So it's getting hot. Almost time. So I'll get my pasta bowl ready. It doesn't take time. Pasta, when you're cooking fresh pasta, it's nice and quick, nice and easy. Doesn't take time, my friends. Split five minutes, pasta is ready. It's not a hard one, it's nice and quick. I already have my tomato sauce with me and I have my fish ready. So I'm ready to, to, to plate my lovely pasta. So now my friends, I'm not going to be making spaghetti. I'll be cooking the Italian toilet. So I'll keep that. You know, I'm not going to cook that. I'm going to put that in a clip film. Amazing. I'll leave that. So I'll cook that one. And, uh, So now my friends, time to cook our lovely pasta. So now I'm gonna move my camera straight, you know, right to the uh, top. My is easy, my friends. So now my friends, uh, That's boiling. So now my friends, uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So now, not in my then So now, my friends, uh, we want our water to be nice and hot before we pop in our lovely tagliatelle. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get hot now. Nice and easy, my friend. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing, my friend. I want it nice and hot. That's what I'm waiting for. Nice and hot, my friends. So we're almost there. Give it some time. Look at that. Amazing. When you're making pasta, the water needs to be nice and hot. You know, you don't want to cook pasta in the cold water. So let's give it one minute. One minute. So nice and hot in the saucepan. So now, my friends, I have my water boiling away. So the water is boiling away now. So I'm gonna pop in my lovely tagliatelle straight into this lovely boiling water. So now. Leave that to cook away. Very nice, my friends. Look at this. Amazing. 
amazing, my friends. Doesn't take time to cook, my friends. Let's give it five minutes. It's fast as ready, my friends. So I'm gonna save the timer. Huh? Five minutes. It could be less than five minutes anyway. Could be less than five minutes. You know. Maybe four minutes. So let's give it some time. Look at that. Amazing, my friends. Look at that. Lovely pasta. Nice and easy, my friends. Nice and easy. Lovely fresh pasta, my friends. Nice and easy. My tomato sauce with, with olive oil. I made that with olive oil. Very nice. Almost ready, my friends. I'm gonna try that one to see. Should be almost ready. Should be ready now. Almost two minutes more, my friends. I'm going to cook the spaghetti after that one. I don't want to mix it together. I want to separate. Lovely. Amazing, my friends. Lovely tagliatelle. Ready in two minutes. So I'm going to strain it with a strainer. Amazing. Now I'm going to pop in a little bit of salt. I love using sea salt, my friend. Just a little bit of salt. A little bit of sea salt. Lovely. One minute more, my friend. Nice and easy. So now, my friends, I'm going to get this strainer to strain my lovely pasta. So that's ready. It's ready, five minutes. So now, I'm gonna strain that now. I'm gonna strain that in the sink, straight away. So now my friends, I'm gonna set that. I have my lovely, uh, you know,
Pasta bowl. Amazing. Look at that. Amazing, my friends. So I'm going to cook that one. That's the boiling water. I'm going to cook the spaghetti now. Straight in there. So I'm going to give the spaghetti five minutes. So now, my friends, we have a lovely, you know, spaghetti, our uh, tagliatelle. Right? So now, I'm going to pop in our lovely tomato sauce. with olive oil I'm going to adjust the camera again my friends So now my friends, I have a lovely pasta. So my friends, look at that. Amazing. Now, I'm going to pop in. That's the spaghetti cooking. Lovely. Lovely spaghetti. So I'm gonna pop in our lovely salmon. Very nice, my friend. So the spaghetti is almost ready. So now my friends, uh, now my friends, I have a lovely pasta here, so I'm going to try it, you know, very nice with tomato sauce and fish, look at that. Amazing fresh pasta. Amazing, my friends. So now I'm going to pop that straight into my mouth. Yummy. Sensational, my friends. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Tastes really nice, fresh pasta dough. I made a mess. So now, look at that with tomato sauce, very nice. Amazing, my friend. So I'm gonna fry that with the fish. Take out the skin. My spaghetti is ready. It's really nice, my friend. For the last time, I'm going to try that one. Fresh pasta, my friends. Amazing. Nice and perfect. So my friends, I'm going to show you the spaghetti. Look at that. Amazing. Fresh. Made from fresh pasta. Lovely spaghetti. So my friends, this is a lovely fresh pasta dough I made. I said I made it with uh, the pasta machine. But my friends, you can do it by hand. So if you wanna watch my video, the previous video I made, I made a fresh pasta dough by hand. And of course, I use a rolling pin to make lasagna sheets, which I use for my cannelloni. So my friends, Next week, I'll be making another live stream on how to make, you know, ravioli, you know, different kind of pasta, you know, lasagna sheet and all that. You know, so I'm going to be doing that. So, this is all the foundation. I started with spaghetti, you know, and how to, you know, flatten the pasta dough with the pasta machine. So I'll be making more difficult pasta, you know, from next week. So my friend, keep watching my lovely channel, share my videos, give it a like, you know. And of course, if you're the first time watching my channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button, of course, turn on the bell, so that I don't miss the latest from Google Chef Francis. So, I, so my name is Francis, and this is Google Chef Francis, live on YouTube, making it on YouTube. So see you next week, my friends. Give it a try how to make it with the pasta machine or if you use your rolling pin if you like my friends so thank you very much for watching share my videos give it a like thank you very much see you next week find out the live stream bye bye my friends bye 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 my friends